In previous versions of the machine software, it was only possible to automate via MIDI or the host by using the macro controls. Machine 2.0 brings automation to many more parameters, and this is a very welcome feature. Now, there is a proviso with this, and that is that the things that can be automated are generally controls, uh, sort of knobs, like this, for example. Uh, not everything within the machine software is uh, automatable. But to automate is a fairly straightforward process. So I'm going to take up this sound that I've got running here. And what I've done is in Logic itself, I have this split out through multiple outputs, all running from the same instance of machine. So this particular sound has some effects on it. So if I come down to the effects here, and uh, you can see there's a beat delay, a filter, and then there's a compressor sitting on the end there. And I can control the filter by moving the cutoff. So if I want to automate this within Logic, what I need to do is to come over here and click on this down arrow, which brings up uh, an automation sub-menu. And you can see here that I have the option to either choose MIDI or host. So MIDI is a fairly uh, straightforward. All I do is press learn and it sits there waiting. And then as soon as I move something, there we go. That's the mod wheel now assigned to the cutoff frequency in that case. Now with host automation, what I do is I click on the host button and underneath the automatable controls, we get this enable option. And if I click on that, it assigns a host automation ID to the parameter. Now, when I'm automating within Logic, one thing to be aware of, if you are using multiple outputs, you need to put the automation onto the first track. So this is the first track in the tracks area. Now, I've created extra tracks here to match the channels in the uh, mixer page, as you can see. So if I click onto the uh, kick here, and we've got that one set up and ready to go, I'm um, cl click A for automation. I'm going to put this on to latch, and actually I can do it from here. If you come down to volume, select machine 2, and you can see all the available host automation IDs. And you can see up here at the top that I've got this one called cutoff. So I could either select it, or with automation set to latch, the other thing I can do is move the cutoff frequency. As well as automating the specific parameters within machine 2.0, you also have the ability to host automate the macros. So for example, if I come up to this bass sound here and I go to the particular sounds, I have two sounds set up here. This top bass is uh, coming from Massive. And what I can do is assign one of the controls. So let's get the cutoff frequency within Massive itself. By coming over here to Learn, And then by moving the cutoff, what you can see is that this uh, particular filter is now on a macro control within Machine 2.0. So what I can do now is if I come to the automation page, I can enable that, and that will give me a automation ID of 2. And if I come now to my Machine 2, I have the filter cutoff of that particular sound, which in this case, I'm just going to draw this straight in. So this shows there are lots of possibilities when it comes to automating Machine 2.0 as a plugin within Logic.